loved it, but yeah. It's not as good as Resident Evil 2 Remake. Um, I will go over the things I dislike first. Uh, I've talked about Nikolai a bunch. And yes, you guys watching might think, what about Birkin? What about Chief Irons? Aren't they just generic evil people as well? Since I'm saying like Resident Evil 2 Remake is like literally my game of the year from last year literally gets a 10 out of 10 from me so why do i have these standards for nikolai and not those characters well here's the thing there was enough backstory in those characters for me to like not just relegate them to random mustache twirly bad guys like birkin has and annette especially have the um the family angle right like everyone can relate to the to the people i'm so obsessed with their work that they they let let it un unbalance the rest of their life and i love like irons isn't just some generic bad guy he's like with the bestiality and the hunting obsession and how he views people as animals and not actual people you know with with how like uh how he viewed the mayor's daughter and carved her up literally like and as a pig that's extremely interesting for me um nikolai had none of that backstory he's just Greedy, asshole, evil, soulless soldier. Like, literally a cardboard cartoon cutout. And he gets funnier as he goes along. And not funny like he doesn't crack jokes. I don't think he ever cracked a single joke in this one. But he just becomes ludicrous, ludicrously evil the longer the game goes. I liked him. I liked his first appearance. Putting a hole in that dude's head. And But, like, he himself has very little character in contrast to the rest of them like like the dead bodies of the ubcs people they, we had like a bunch of like um backstories for them now carlos and tyrell for example have like no backstory essentially like literally sorry but they have a ton of personality right even like mikhail or whatever his name is that they're their boss their general Oh, English voice cast. You guys did an amazing job. I can't read all your names right now. Nemesis by David Cockman. How appropriate. Anyway. Um, but they had a ton of personality. Like, even, like, th their general guy. Italian voice cast. German voice cast. Neat. Um, he was pretty cookie cutter. Most of his appearance. But, like, I liked when he was figuring out Nikolai right before he died. And... Um, his sacrifice and all of this made up for his complete lack of personality and character for the rest of the game. Things I didn't like. The, the actual times when you fight Nemesis were kind of lacking. You know? I love them, but like, thinking back on them now and thinking back of the other bosses in similar games I've played before. Uh, RE2 Remake, of course, and the Batman Arkham games. Mm, sorely lacking. Nemesis and... Nikolai are kind of like mirror images of each other. Because, like, Nikolai first appears, he's kind of cool, right? And and Nemesis first appears, he's awesome. But the more you see of him, the dumber he gets. Uh, again, not his actual intelligence. Like, the way the audience perceives him is kind of dumb. This all started when he got the rocket launcher. Because I didn't think the rocket launcher minigame where he had to dodge the, the beams was very fun. It was... All right, but not the best mini game slash boss encounter, whatever you want to call it, right? And then, yeah, the succeeding boss battles with him were lacking. And then he just he's just this dumb dog. And then he's just this dumb tentacle monster. And then in the end, he's just literally this giant explosive dick. The final encounter with Nemesis is epic as hell, and I loved it so much, especially with like the sci-fi mecha elements of it all. And like you get to do more versus like the, the final Birkin battle in Resident Evil 2 classic and remake. So it was way more interesting compared to that. But still overall, Nemesis was kind of lacking in the game. Definitely less interesting than Mr. X slash the Tyrant from Resident Evil 2 remake. Although I do love his design. Um, other things, it is actually shorter than Resident Evil 2 remake. I remember in my first playthrough, Leon A, 
even on beginner, I remember my time was like just over 11 hours. Like, 11 hours and 1 minute or something like that. But then again, the reason why I play so goddamn slow is because you guys know my sightseeing style, and I hadn't played a Resident Evil game in like years uh, before that. Last time I played a Resident Evil game was Resident Evil 7, and I didn't play a lot of it. I played none of the DLC of Resident Evil 7. But yeah, so I had to like reacclimate myself with how Resident Evil work and that took a bit of time and I was so in love with Resident Evil 2 that I just played it as slowly as possible so Resident Evil 3 remake the story feels about exactly as long as one scenario of Resident Evil 2 remake and that said it is much much um shorter because Resident Evil 2 remake is like kind of like two separate scenarios right uh, the first is, of course, Leon A, and the second is, like, Claire B. Now, I know that every succeeding playthrough isn't entirely different, because there is, like, it's all the same environment and all of this, a lot of overlap in the story and the boss battles and the missions and things like that in Resident Evil 2 Remake. But then you get the, um, the pleasure of playing it four times over, which I did. I played it... I played Leon A, Claire B in Beginner, and Leon A, Claire B on, like, Normal. Uh, uh, sorry, Claire A, Leon B on Normal after. And I loved every second of it, you know? I wanted, I actually wanted to play more, but, you know, I wanted to move on to other games. I forgot what game I moved on to. Oh, it was Grandia. Director, Kiyohiko Sakata. Good job, sir. I, game's not perfect. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. Um, but I still loved it overall, man. I still loved it overall. Oh, I was gonna say, like, I did mention in a tweet of mine that the multiplayer does sort of make up for it, and apparently, we're gonna see this now. We're gonna unlock something that'll make New Game Plus interesting. Okay, vaccine. Okay. Standard! Okay, I, I, it was less than 10 hours. Standard. Clear time, 9 hours, 6 minutes, 54 seconds. Time saved, 97. Yes, I'm OCD about reloading and saving. And backtracking and um, item arranging. <laughs> That's just who I am. Total playtime, including the deaths, is 12 hours, 56 minutes, 37 seconds. You can see in the, uh, what is that, upper right. Rank C. Duh, I'm a terrible gamer. Especially in Resident Evil. Okay, let's un let's let's see what we unlocked. So uh, it was less. We um, I finished it faster than Leon, but then again, I still have sort of the muscle memory of Resident Evil to remake because I finished it last October, um, appropriately enough. And what is this? It's I played this April, right? And I also I also played the demo a bunch back in March. I, I, you guys saw me play it only once, but I played it like several times more. I played it like three times more, I think, after just to like explore stuff and enjoy myself. So I, I played the demo at least four times. When I jumped into this, I was like, I knew what I was gonna, uh, I knew what I was gonna do at least gameplay wise. So I finished it uh, around two hours quicker than Leon, even on standard, which I'm proud of because. Again, I finished my first run of Resident, first two runs of Resident Evil 2 Remake last year on Beginner. Well, let's see what we unlocked. Neat. We'll, we'll look at all of this. The shop has been unlocked. So this is what I was talking about, guys. Aside from RE Resistance multiplayer, which again, I'm not that interested in. There's this shop thing that you can unlock all sorts of stuff that is kind of new to this version. Some of this was in Resident Evil 2 Remake, but mo much of it, from what I understand, is not. The shop has been locked. You can now purchase items from the shop, which is accessible via the main menu. Points used to unlock items can be earned by completing in-game challenges. View them in the record screen. Let's look at this. What this? What is this? Bonuses. Shop! How many points do I have? 9,260. Holy shit! What is this? Raiden, an energy weapon developed by Umbrella, 
Based on airborne electrical phenomena, it possesses great stopping power, but only when targeting enemy weak points. Infinite rocket launcher, all right. 62,000! That's like seven times what I have, like 6.5 times what I have. Jesus. A recoilless rocket launcher that fires 84 millimeter projectiles. The piercing power of the rocket causes more damage than the explosion. Infinite CQBR assault rifle. Okay. 28,000 though. Mmm. It's like three times what I have. Fuck. A 5.56 by 45 millimeter assault rifle optimized by UBCS for this operation. Its short length affords great mobility, even in urban settings. Infinite handgun. Very well balanced 16 shot millimeter handgun. Its pinpoint accuracy has led to its adoption by countless militaries. To Samurai Edge. Yeah, I got this for Resident Evil 2 Remake because I pre-ordered it. Uh, 15 shot capacity 9mm handgun. It's been customized according to Jill's personal specifications. Yeah, so in Resident Evil 2 Remake, if you pre-ordered it, you get three of these. One is Wesker's, one is Jill's, and one is Chris's. So the... what? I wonder what the difference is. Excellent across the board with exceptional accuracy and firepower. Okay. What the hell is this shit? What is this Metal Gear Revengeance thing? Hot Dogger, 7,200 points. As its name implies, this umbrella developed anti bioweapon knife is used by those who like to show off. The blade can be superheated, causing the target to burst into flames. It's a knife that can set zombies on fire? That's amazing. Oh, I can buy it actually. Yo. That's amazing, because, like, when you stab them, they just burst into fire. Like, while they're on the ground. That that seems super useful. A hip pouch. Okay, a small belted pouch, good for carrying more items. Will be placed in the game and purchased. Will not be available in assisted mode. As this would exceed the maximum inventory capacity. Oh, you can buy a maximum of two of these. So in assisted mode, you automatically get more hip pouches? Yo! Stars gear! Jill stars gear as she wore during the mansion incident. 2,000 points. Okay. Neat! Oh, bolt cutters! You can get this, like, during the first... What do you call this? Um, uh, first stashing place, like, at the subway station, right? A tool for cutting chains, cables, and the like. Oh, you can get the lockpick! Oh, so just so you don't backtrack at the very start. Cool. Th this changes the game a lot if you get these two immediately. Interesting. A specialized tool which allows a skilled user to unlock simple locks with no keys available. Stars Field Combat Manual? A manual of compiled stars close range combat knowledge. Edited by Chris Redfield. Hmm. While held, physical feats such as perfect dodge become easier to perform. I wonder how easier. Crafting Companion. While held, increases the am amount of ammo gained when crafting. Okay. Assault Coin. Greatly increases your attack power when held. Carry two to increase the effect. Oh, you can buy two. Interesting. Yeah, there's a second one. Iron defense coin. Greatly increases your defense when held. Carry two to increase the effect. Okay. Recovery coin. Gradually regenerate health when held. Carry two to increase the effect. No, interesting here. So when you start an assisted... You already regenerate. See, it's the second point. Recover a certain amount of health automatically. It's it's gonna be super interesting if you have like both of these and play in assisted mode. Okay, uh, records. Oh Jesus! This is how you um earn points. Look at that, seven thousand p. Destroy all Charlie dolls. I got seven out of twenty. Read all story files. Yeah, we 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 got everything, guys. Uh, that makes me super happy. Kendo's protege. Collect all weapon parts. Are the ones I missed the the nemesis drops? Place all jewel. Oh right, I didn't do that. I only got like the red and the green one. I wonder where the blue one is. Okay, concept art. Let's look at this. Carlos. So I loved Carlos. I loved everything about him. His design, his personality, uh, the acting, the writing. His relationship with Jill, everything. Loved him. That's definitely one of the high points of the game for me. Nemesis, I love his design. The one on the left is the um, Hunter Gamma, and then that those are like Hunter Betas. I love these things. These are these these guys are great. 
that's this is another positive of the game. I loved Raccoon City, man. Uh, do I wish it was larger? Yes, but then that's what you can say about anything else like Resident Evil 2 Remake. You wish there were more areas and stuff like that. So of course I wish that here. But to be fair, yes, you would wish that more here primarily because there's only one scenario. In the original, you had like story branches that you could do and multiple endings in the original Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. But supposedly they took all of that out for this version. And I personally don't like that. I would have liked the multiple endings. It would have made replaying the uh, the game with all of the shop things that I want to get way more satisfying, you know? I wonder if they can add that in in DLC. I'm guessing not, but that's just a wish of mine. The story branches might be way too complicated. I don't know. Um, but I would have at least liked the multiple endings somehow. Like, if you fuck up the ending with shooting, like, Nikolai, does, does like, um, can Carlos die and can Jill die in that ending? You know, things like that. Jill's apartment, small but awesome. She has way too many of the same books. What the hell is this? What? Is this, like, concept art for, like, her apartment building? Um, that we didn't see? Huh. Downtown. Oh, this is like after the Toy Story gets knocked down. Toy Story head. Hey! It's the, uh, the gas station. We don't see that here, though. It's a major part of the beginning of, uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Oh, the beginning! Dude, the, um, the opening of this game was way better than the opening of Resident Evil 2 Remake. Again, not to knock Resident Evil 2 Remake in any way. I give it a 10 out of 10, and I give this one 8 out of 10. And they exceeded Resident Evil 2 Remake opening, like, by far. I also love the story. So, yeah, that's, like, things that, you know, I have a bunch of complaints. So why is it I still give this thing an 8 out of 10? It's because... A lot of the things that they do exceeded a 10 out of 10 game of mine that was just released last year. It's a super recent game, you know? Uh, so they should fall exa exactly within the same criteria. And the animations are way better in this one. The story is about the same, I'd say. I believe I like the story of Resident Evil 2 Remake better. Because of the multiple scenarios, there's like more characters, characters are more interesting and things like that. Gameplay? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I suck at the gameplay, so I'm not the best judge of that. But I like both. Can't really tell if one is better than the other. Uh, technically, this one should have better gameplay because of like the, the role and stuff, right? Barjack! Jesus, the hospital. That zombie nurse is not having a good time. I mean, I guess if you're a zombie, you're just generally not having a good time ever. The freaking giant crane. It's awesome, but kind of comical at the same time. Oh, shit. This is epic. The nemesis transformations. Again, the way the boss battles. It, it's Again, I was like, Nemesis design is different from the way he has handled in the story in the latter half of the game. So I'm saying he's dumb in the way he's handled in the story and in the boss battles in the latter half of the game, but his designs are still sick throughout. 10 out of 10, at least for the design. Nemesis, in terms of like how he's handled overall, like a 7 out of 10. Oh! Buck, uh, 10 out of 10! Bad box art Mega Man! I am Mega Man. I will protect the peace of the universe. It's time to get Mega, man! Holy shit. I would like this to be a real toy. We looked at some of these at the very beginning of the game. Jesus Christ! This is the best one. She... She jiggles? Holy shit. What the fuck? The <laughs> jiggle physics are hilarious, man. What the fuck? I just wanted I just wanted to move it around because I wanted to see the awesome railgun. Look at zombie <laughs> Look at the jiggling on zombie Jill. Holy shit. Does this one jiggle? I think it does, but it does, but not nearly as 
as as weird as the other one. There is some jiggle, but very slight. You have to really look at it. It's awesome. Oddly enough, less jiggle here. Like, despite the fact that this is clearly the more fan servicey of the three designs. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the the, the first one is the more like uh, what do you call this? Fan servicey one. Oh, I hate classic Carlos. Like, I just... Mm, so uninteresting to look at. I'm never doing a playthrough with him. How many poses do you have, Brad? Two, of course. Was this Murphy Seeker? Yeah, he just... He just sitting down the whole game. Dario Rosso. Dude literally does nothing and has a full name. He's just slightly annoying. Oh, uh, this is like... Well, when they're gonna stick their thing in jail. Yeah, it's a jet. Yeah, it's that sort of game, alright? Zombie dog. Okay, very classic. Kendo! Our man Kendo! Oh, just one pose. Marvin Branagh! Oh, okay, so the other thing I dislike is... He just disappears. Once he enters the police station, he's just gone. I would have liked a bit more. I mean, I love that we see how he got bit. It was Brad, fine. But I hate that he just disappears after that. Kendo, it's fine. I, I totally get it because the story continues directly into Resident Evil 2 Remake with the locked door and all of that. But Marvin, come on, man. Marvin was like the standout of Resident Evil 2 Remake. Why wouldn't you want to give the fans more of him? Stage 2 Nemesis. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, Charlie Doll. So final word in the game, 8 out of 10. I loved it. It is not nearly as good as Resident Evil 2 Remake. It is shorter. Um, some of the characters are kind of dumb. Primarily like Nikolai and Nemesis. There are some parts that are unfun. Like that last puzzle, man. Like what the hell? I have no idea what to do with these temperatures. Nemesis boss battles are kind of dumb. That's it, I guess. The, the number one thing is the length. Like, at least they should have given us the multiple endings. Like, I get that there's only one scenario, but at least give us some multiple endings. For me, as someone who is not interested in RE Resistance at all, it's not, you know, it's not enough for me to make up for the fact that it is a much shorter game than Resident Evil 2 Remake. So I just wish they included the multiple endings at least maybe like give us three endings good bad and best slash true ending or something and then i would have just been fine with it you know it would have been a reason for me to replay the game i mean more of a reason for me to replay the game like once again eight out of ten and thank you very much for sticking around with me asian action actor and i will see you in the next game.